When you're trying to do a single pour swan, you want to think along the lines of choreography. There's some certain endpoints you want to make sure that you hit, because if you don't, it'll just show up in the cup and it won't look as precise as you want. It's kind of an all or nothing pattern if you're doing it all in one go. But when you get it, there's something really nice about it. So the first thing to do is to fill up your cup about a third of the way full, just like normal. And I like to avoid breaking my pour. I like to keep pouring right in the middle here. And then once I see my contrast, I immediately push to my first end point, which is right around here at the front edge of the cup. So as I see contrast, I'm gonna do my wiggle all the way up front here. And then I don't wanna linger here. You generally don't wanna linger anywhere in this pattern. I'm immediately going to start pulling backwards. And you have to kind of figure out with your cup, how many wiggles can I do for my wing before I have to start to the next part of the pattern. If you don't get in the habit of counting this, you'll end up kind of overwriting your wing up here and that won't look very good. So right from this point at the front of the cup, I counted out that it was three good wiggles to get to the second end point, which is right over here. So I would count about one, two, three. And then at this point, when I'm on the outside of my wing, this is when I start to pull up because it takes a little while to get your jug up in the air and I'm pulling up as I'm coming over here and then at this point, I'm high up in the cup and I wanna to start to drag along the wing. So this line that I've just traced along, this should be the natural line store formed by the bit of Rosetta pattern that you've started to pour by now. And where I've stopped here is just where the ripples start to come out on either side, because this is going to be the base of the swan. Now a lot has gone on by this point and you tend to wanna to linger right here. But if you stay too long here and try and take a break, you're gonna find that the belly of the swan just gets kind of fat. So don't stay too long here, just stay for a brief pause and then immediately bring up with your neck and then do a little heart pattern right here. It takes a little while to get going and sometimes when I would do this pattern, I actually wouldn't get to the top of my cup completely. There would actually still be a little bit of room left, but I found there isn't really a whole lot of flexibility. Once you get your choreography done, uh, you need to follow that pretty precisely if you want to have the best looking swan you can.